Meanwhile, on the cutting edge of existence, artists scrape their knuckles bare and shred their tendons to the bone and back, cutting goddamn pumpkins, washing endless dish on endless dish, feeding the constant 5,000 plus one, just one more happy punter as the camel's lower lumber gives out at last and Jesus is off on compo and there's straws all over the place and Rumpelstiltskin is a fantasy too, but every day is reality and my knuckles are swelling again from punching life in the head and scrubbing cups and plates. It's okay, I will do them next week and everyone agrees. Yes, that's okay. You can do them next week, and I hope that one day things will be different. As I nail myself to the wall, St. Marta is damned to do. Or live in squalor, as always, to build mise-en plus for the day of reckoning and become holy. Most definitely happy, unhindered by a handbag, with teeth as yellow as cheese, from all the happy smoke and mirrors of pretending that things could be any different at all. And that one day I would scrape my nails on a rock, or sign up for his and hers body bleaching as the phone rings again, and I ignore it as usual." It's yet another person's problems, as humanity never ceases to astound with its myopia, which will forever ride forth and conquer on the calloused backs of oversexed Neanderthals.